GM, GM, just a quick one before we get going. So, as you know, the Blockmates podcast is for informational and entertainment purposes only. Certainly shouldn't be considered as financial advice. We have absolutely no idea what we're talking about half the time. So, any investment decision you do make should be based on your own research and your own understanding of the risks involved. One more thing as well, there's around 50% of people who listen regularly who aren't subscribed yet. So, if you please could just do us a favor and hit the subscribe or the follow button or the like button. Helps content grow, helps us grow helps it reach more people like yourselves um, and it means the world to us as well so that's the last I'll uh, ask of you so yeah let's get to the episode well 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 we are back on another one that I've been looking forward to for a long time um, and it's probably on us more than anything because of everywhere we've been lately but we have got Boyle back on the Blockmates podcast hello mate welcome back how are you boys what's been happening oh actually before you fucking start <laughs> I just want to <laughs> I just want to say, you guys fucked me so hard on the edit last right. time with those clips. So bad. <laughs> so you sent me these clips and it's us interacting. Yeah. It's me, you guys talking. You ask me a question and then you cut to me answering the question. And it's like a joke. I'm saying something funny. And all you have is me in the frame laughing at what I'm saying. <laughs> it's insane. You didn't you didn't fucking cut to you guys laughing. It's just and not only that, not only that, you cut out your audio as well. So you, you muted out you guys laughing. But you <laughs> and it's fucking me sitting there just laughing at my own jokes psychotically <laughs> and I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it. And I've got all comedian friends and that, and they're all like, you're fucking bombing like hell on that. Podcast. <laughs> I'm like, no, you got, <laughs> they're like, no, you got to watch the whole thing. You need thing. the context. <laughs> uh, yeah. You need the context. You got to watch the whole thing. They're like, yeah, right. We're not watching fucking. Yeah. That. So Henry, if you're listening, make sure you don't fuck boil over this time. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Cut in some laughter, any some f- canned laughter or something. <laughs> some French type shit. That's my only gripe. That was my only gripe because I shared a couple and I was like, "Fuck, this is brutal." <laughs> I thought, I thought people would put it together like, "Oh, they've cut," <laughs> but no one. Oh, I just got to I'm trash sorry, it. mate. To be fair, Henry just like runs right on Instagram <laughs> no, and cuts good. shorts up, and we post them, and we don't put as much um, onus yet. We haven't really sorted the Insta clips. We do mainly everything through Twitter. So we definitely need to, we are in yeah. the process of sorting that out, but that is funny, but um, yeah, we won't do, we won't do that again. We wouldn't stand up on yeah. your own in the bathroom. Make sure like, we definitely is, do that like, again. Is a clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just fucking me laughing at myself. Well, so, mate, thanks for coming back on then, because you could quite easily have just told a problem. To fuck off. But um, No, no, I had a fucking ball last time. It was fun. It was, uh, I mean, Henry just said that it worked as our highest ever viewed shot. So even though you were. <laughs> yeah, because they're fucking <laughs> trashing me. In the comments, they're like, look at this <laughs> fucking idiot. Most shared. It'll be the most oh, shared man. going going around the WhatsApp group. Yeah, most shared. <laughs> oh, man. Well, guy on podcast. Yeah, it turns into a meme. <laughs> Guy on podcast who thinks he's funny. Typical guy on podcast that thinks he's funny. No one else does. We thought you were funny, mate. But yeah, Nate, Henry banked some fake laughter Beautiful. to put in the background. So poor boy, isn't just like <laughs> looking like a bathroom stand-up comedian or something. Um, but yeah, how's it been going, mate? What have you been up to? Oh, man. I'm heading over to Canada and the US and I'm actually going down to... Um, so I'm doing a little tour... I'm doing Vancouver and Toronto, doing some shows out there and then probably bouncing into the US for a couple of shows, but there's some visa bullshit going on. But after that, I'm heading down to Central America. I'm going Guatemala, Mexico, and fucking El Salvador, baby. (laughs) You're going. I'm going to get down to Bitcoin Beach. You're going to go, yeah? Yeah, for sure. That's the only reason I'm going. That'll be so. Check it out. It's going to be a wild wild trip, I think. You all hooked up to Lightning Network and that, so you can actually pay for shit. <laughs> Not just yet. Well, there's nowhere to pay here, but fucking, I'll be swinging the Lightning <laughs> tap <laughs> everywhere. And I don't even like. I think it might be a little bit of bullshit. I think it's like Max Kaiser and like four other people just sh- like <laughs> that, that Jack buying guy. shit of, off each other. And Jack Moore yeah, was yeah. yeah, yeah. And you get that? It's like um, I, what's what's that? 
what's that um festival yeah. that they completely fucked up like fire festival you get there and it's like bitcoin fire festival uh, yeah. <laughs> but everyone's eating each other like turning the cannibals yeah. and shit <laughs> i think it might be a little bit like that they are doing a rerun of fire festival aren't they did you see that yeah who's backing it someone famous is backing it aren't they ja rule again maybe <laughs> no <laughs> oh yeah they no no someone i don't know someone fucking yeah. annoying i was like yeah fuck him well they all are on i mean it takes some balls to be fair he's come out of prison and then just gone balls deep on the thing all over again <laughs> so. so what you boys been up to what have we been up to um <clears throat> a lot really building a lot of new stuff in the background we were all in singapore last week okay yeah for a conference called what Talk- were you doing there token 2049 so it's like the biggest crypto conference in the world um what's the what's the crowd like there i knew you were gonna ask that (laughs) (laughs) i i just picture a lot of autism (laughs) a lot of a lot of i picture like furries walking around yeah pretty much yeah Yeah, Yeah? pretty much so you've so you've you've got the full you've got the full spectrum so you've got like absolute nerds that haven't came out of the basement like mm. all year since the last festival they've got like cheat okay they're still over their fingers and shit still and so it's like got... their fire festival <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, and, you, yeah. and then you've got like the like really heavy venture capital guys on one hand who are trying to get like all the deal flow and like absorb as much steal as much yeah, value yeah. from the whole thing as physically possible and then there's like there's some like happy medium in the middle where but we were laughing because like all the good shit happens at the side events of the of the conference and not at the actual okay. conference. So what are the side events? It's just a piss up, really. It's just an absolute oh, really? piss up. Just just yeah. like twelve of you <laughs> yeah. who are friends go to a pub. <laughs> That's a side event, is yeah. it? But it is it is funny. I mean, because so we threw one at a bar and like you know you put like free booze on and shit and then but people who fucking uh, Singapore beer is fucking expensive man, too. It's wild. Yeah. Like, it's, it's brutal. So- and like, but some people would introduce themselves to me, but like, tell me the name on crypto Twitter and be like, I don't want a dox. And I'm like, I'm fucking looking straight at you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a dox. Can't you just pull your phone out and like take a picture? This is fucking mum's basement 69. <laughs> yeah. So it, yeah, it's been a bit, um, it was mental, but yeah, as I say, I literally knew that was the first question you'd ask. I was like, I'd love to take oil and talk. <laughs> I'll fucking go. I'll go to one if I'm around. Uh, well, it's not too far yeah. from you, is it? What's Oz the Singapore? You... Singapore's not too far. Yeah. How many people went? It's 10,000, I think. 10,000. 10,000. Yeah, yeah. 10,000 people still think this shit's going to take off. <laughs> Any of your shit. I can't believe that. That's insane. That means there's more as well. That's 10,000 yeah. people going to the event. Yeah, Balaji was there doing a talk, like giving the whole Bitcoin to a million dollar. Is he a like con that. artist or not? I can't tell. I have no idea. He's like he's like early venture capital. Like he's I very think he smart. Hit, like, Uber, hit Uber really early, and then everyone goes like philosophical. It's like because they hit one uh, venture capital investment really right. Like like Naval. Like I quite like Naval, but. Um, yeah, but everyone sounds right. really philosophical when they hit one. <laughs> like one yeah, that's that, that's what I'm gonna be like when fucking Bitcoin takes <laughs> off as well. I'll be like, yeah. yeah. I just think, yeah, I'll write a book like fucking what's his name, uh, <laughs> Nicholas Tsab or whatever his name is, anti fragile. Oh, yeah, I still, uh, need to, I still need to read that. Taleb, that's it. <clears throat> so what, what's there. since we last chatted? What's the uh, What's going on in the crypto world for you? Are you still just... I'm just I'm just stacking sats, baby. That's it. <laughs> I'm just fucking watching, watching the price bounce from like 25 to 30 and up and down and nothing's going on. Nothing's mm-hmm. happening at all. It feels like something's about to happen. It's either going to like the whole world economy is going to tank completely and Bitcoin is <clears throat> going to go down to like 10,000, but it will still be valuable in comparison to the, the world burning or it's just going to take off. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of things have happened with Bitcoin. Um, the ETF or whatever the fuck it is, BlackRock filed, yeah, all that sort of shit. So that looks like it's going to be passed. And then the new accounting thing, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just parroting. I'm like, 
just saying exactly what Michael Saylor says, except a little bit more <laughs> retarded because <laughs> they're not my own ideas. <laughs> a lot, a lot more retarded to be fair. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the BlackRock ETF is, is a fucking big one to be fair. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah, the spot, the spot ETF effectively means if they're, whatever they've got on the balance sheet from the ETF, they need to hold in custody with, and I think they're going to go with Coinbase for that. Yeah. Um, but what that effectively means, if if you want that institutional money flying into it, then they're going to have to actually purchase it. So, and they've only had one ETF rejection ever. Yeah, I know. I know. So, well, well they're, the, they're the biggest. You can't get, no one's bigger than BlackRock. Mm, yeah. They're like the overlords. They're on the of board the, of every fucking. Yeah. Yeah. They own everything. Now, I just wonder how much control they can take over the the network. They've been talking about like forks, like a BlackRock can force a fork and then they'll have so much money that people will be forced to go in on their fork and then it can centralize and all that. But I don't know. Sailor seems to think none of these hedge funds or anyone who, who's applied for the ETFs have any interest in like corrupting the network. They just want a piece of the action. So mm. we'll see. We'll see. Where, where do you, where do you stand on like, cause it's, there's two sides of that, of that coin, isn't there? Cause you're coming in with institutional money, but Bitcoin is like in its essence, completely com- like it yeah. just goes counter, counter against that. If you know what I mean? It's like, there's a weird, yeah. There's a weird kind of relationship between people wanting their bags to move, <laughs> but yeah. it kind of, it's kind of antithetical to what the whole Bitcoin movement is supposed to be about. Yeah, but it's free and open, so anyone anyone can access it from the poorest to the richest. Yeah, I I I don't really give a fuck who <laughs> who comes in. I feel sorry. What I do feel sorry for is all the. Although this would have been like the greatest transfer of wealth from the from the poor people to oh from the rich to the poor, sorry, if everyone who had heard about Bitcoin just got onto it because the institutions can't even buy the Bitcoin right now. They don't have the setup, their systems aren't set up for it just yet. But in six months, it's over. The institutional money's in and then like it might never be possible to buy a fucking single Bitcoin again. So there was an opportunity there for everyone who had no money to take some of that fucking elite money. But I think I think it's passed now or it's going to be passed mm-hmm. very soon unless people switch on. But yeah, yeah. you can lead a horse to water, eh? I've That's been right. preaching it for... No one's interest. No one gives a fuck about Bitcoin. No one wants to hear about it. No one. It's just as bad as NFTs. No one's. <laughs> everyone thinks it's some sort of scam. That that's fucking hilarious. You know, when we first stepped foot in the conference the other day, Alex, there was an NFT yeah. like gallery, and these two like American guys were walking past it, and they went, "Oh, that's cool, NFTs. <laughs> they still a thing." <laughs> <laughs> Are they? So what is, what's the latest with NFTs? Well, even before we go into that, you are right about the Bitcoin thing and the scam. Because my mate got his Instagram hacked the other day. And we've all seen it. <laughs> yeah. Like where someone gets into your Insta and they start posting charts and they say like, oh my God, I finally bought Bitcoin, just bought a new Range Rover and stuff. And basically like, yeah. I was like, it doesn't fucking help the cause, does it? When everyone that you see, and then I start getting loads of DMs. One of the other lads like <clears throat> took my mate's head and basically superimposed it on like our bodies as if like he was part of the blockmates team, like scamming people. On uh, yeah, that is uh, just like obviously taking and... the piss, but I don't know why it's the first part of call for people. The thing that happens as well on Twitter is you'll follow a Bitcoiner, like, I don't know, yeah. like Jeff Booth or something like that. And like five minutes later, you'll get a follow back from a Jeff Booth account yeah. with like a bunch of followers, but it's just some bot or some, scam, some yeah. scammer. It's yeah. So then you're in a conversation with Jeff Booth, <laughs> fake Jeff Booth. 
and it's and then <laughs> <Yeah>. you <laughs> it's it's dodgy it, it happened happened like five different times greg yeah. foss larry lapard all these guys someone did it to us the other week didn't they Graham? someone made like a fake yeah. blockmates account and like it's it's They're wild control, the way it? yeah the bots are fucked now big time the whole thing for paying for twitter blue it's like we're supposed to like negate that but it's like if anything they've just like took it upon themselves to make it a like a thing <laughs> like, it's yeah. a, like a vendetta against elon and uh, apparently it's going to be fully paid now there's going to be no free accounts on x who the fuck calls it, it it's crazy any, to me is anyone calling it x like no uh, i don't it's a useless platform i don't know i think it's gonna fucking <laughs> crash it fucking sucks now <laughs> it, yeah. I hope and we're fucked <laughs> yeah we are fucked if that's the case. <laughs> My feed is like all over the place. I'll get yeah. like 14, 14 posts in a row from like David Icke and then fucking 12, <laughs> 12 from Jordan, Jordan Peterson and then like another fucking 10 from Andrew Tate. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I haven't heard that name in years. He's the little lizard king. Yeah, he's still going so hard. <laughs> he hasn't missed a beat. He, he's like more pop. He's banned from every country, but he hasn't missed a beat. I like his commitment to the and cause. To be fair, to be fair, he's been right on just about everything. So expect the lizard <laughs> to be revealed at some point. God. That wouldn't even surprise me anymore. No, we got, oh God, we can't go down the David Icke route. I mean, <clears throat> no, what, we got what what, I mean, <laughs> did you see that uh, Louis C.K. has joined your camp? He's now officially a Bitcoin maxi. Is that actually Louis C.K.? Because I think it's a yeah. parody account. Well, it's, it's Louis not, K.C. Not, not Louis C.K. Of course, I'm not Louis C.K., but maybe comedy parody and satire. <laughs> With a hundred and eighteen thousand yeah, followers. I can I can never figure that guy out because about two months ago he started making posts saying, No, this really is a um parody account and he revealed it to everyone and then lost a bunch of fans and all that sort of stuff and then came back in and said something along the lines of like, Who knows if I am Louis C. K. Yeah. or not? So I can't fucking get it. I just assume it's not. I mean, I hope it is, because if it is... Yeah, I hope it is as well, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if it is. What are you pulling up here, Grant? Okay, I'm convinced. Let's do it. Switch all crypto coin. Switch all currency <laughs> to Bitcoin. <laughs> and he's put the laser eyes on as well. <laughs> Funny cunt, regardless. Even if it isn't him, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it got me because he tweeted this and then changed his picture back. And I was like, if this is some loser just sitting pretending to be Louis C.K., which it seems more and more likely that it is, then again, I respect the commitment to the cause. Yeah, he's got some serious commitment to the cause. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll make a confession. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the confession. I fucking actually, because I love Louis C.K., I actually su subscribe to his um, Twitter <laughs> thing. So I'm paying him. I'm paying this cunt three dollars a month. So you're the you're the only one. <laughs> no, there's like because I was like, oh, if this is real, this is yeah. Louis C.K. I can have a chat to him. And then I was having a chat to him, and he's like, post a joke, and he's gonna rate them. Right. And I thought it was actually Louis C.K. I didn't even want to bring this up. This is like a dirty little secret of mine. This is disgusting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in his like subscribe section, <laughs> he's like, post a fucking joke. So I posted a joke and he rated it and he rated it like five or six out of 10. And I was like, all right, that it wasn't a great joke anyway. I just posted something. Yeah. And then. But I was like, oh, it's Louis C.K. as well. Uh, he's a high standard. Now I just know he's some, like, drunk father of two from fucking Connecticut or some shit. And he's judging my fucking jokes. Fuck him. <laughs> but I got trolled, and yeah. but I'm still subscribed as well because I don't know how to fucking unsubscribe. <laughs> still, <laughs> still paying him even though you absolutely know he's pulling your pants down. Yeah, but like there's still like that 3% that it might be Louis. 
but he's spending a lot of fucking time on Twitter if it's Louis. I want to believe that it is. This is like a this these glasses are an NFT project called the Nouns, so that would make me think that it's not him. Not him. Cuz <laughs> cuz that's a bit that's a bit in the weeds of Oh, it's deep, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I just like like how provocative he was being with the questions, and I was like, I'm not having that Louis C.K. is like <laughs> gonna resort to crypto Twitter to decide whether he wants to put his life savings in Bitcoin. The thing is, he got shared by Elon Musk a couple of months back as well, and and got like four million likes. And yeah, it's a weird one. I can't I can't figure it out, but hence the uh, the large follow account as well. So there's been something really funny that's like, well, we, me and Alex find it fucking hilarious that's happened in the kind of shit coins space. And I know we showed you like okay. Pepe last time and it kind of blew your mind. But there's this yep. new one called <laughs> Harry Potter Obama Sonic 10 Enu. What the fuck? What the fuck? Obama <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Harry Potter Obama Sonic 10 Enu. I don't Not even know what with Harry Potter <laughs> or fucking and this is their website. <laughs> okay. Oh. Look at the one. <laughs> and who the, the fuck is- like tell me, explain to me how this works. Right. So yeah, right. Explain Go to on, me Grant. how yeah, it yeah, I'll, I'll put him up because this there is so much to unpack here. <laughs> So, There's so much to unpack. Go so, this, <laughs> so the Sonic. so the the yeah. project is called Harry Potter Obama Sonic Ten E. Project, and then the please tip- don't call it a fucking project. <laughs> the project, some fucking drunk autistic dork just <laughs> mashed together some shit on the phone. Well, on it, Google. It yeah. was born out of a bag. A, a bag. Yeah. Have you got the picture of the bag, Grant? Yeah. So basically, it was yeah. some in Thailand or somewhere in Southeast Asia. I think it's on the media and the Twitter account. Someone mm-hmm. saw, and you know, one of those shitty stalls that will just try and flog you yeah, absolutely yeah. any shit yeah. that they can get. Someone basically put on a bag or a t shirt or something Harry Potter, Sonic. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good that. so what this is is obviously <laughs> this is the brainchild of like some Cambodian or Thai person who's thought what are the most popular things in the west right now <laughs> that is pretty good though <laughs> but, I can imagine I can imagine some like Balinese dude just like if if they like Sonic and they like Harry Potter <laughs> and they like Obama <laughs> They're really gonna like when we put them all together. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> but so then, the, the ticker, the ticker that it, the this ticker that it trades on is they've called it Bitcoin. <laughs> so instead of like BTC, that the ticker is actually just Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, it's just big. Oh my god. Yeah. So they're, they're scamming that way as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking so it's all right. Hilarious. The the jo- the bag's funny. So what's the project? <laughs> it's just a fucking token that trades. And what's hilarious about it is it was at 190 million market cap. What the fuck? It's currently at 77 yeah. million and there's been like $1.7 million worth of volume today. Um, the merch is fucking hilarious if you look at the merch store. Oh, the merch. <laughs> it's like a double double yeah. bed. Come is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, to be fair. That is pretty fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> so what so but there's a million different shit coins, isn't there? Yeah. How yeah. do you how do you pick the one? It's funny if you don't sell. How do you pick the one? It's funny. <laughs> so, so what <clears throat> happens it, with these shit coins? So, someone has a shit coin. It does nothing. It does nothing. And but the whole time they're trying <clears throat> to hype it, and the the goal is to hype it 
up enough mm-hmm. and then once it once it hits what you think is the peak just dump mm-hmm. is that 100%. is that the that's it and that's it's every- a casino okay so if but you're it's, it's all about memetics of how far can this like infiltrate the hive mind of twitter and obviously this one's done it perfectly because it's so fucking funny and then yeah, it's but all then it's like, basically hype. But then it's a game against each other on who's going to yeah, sell yeah. first, isn't oh, it? Yeah. yeah. And how high it's going to go. And so you're just holding your nerve. Fuck, that, it, that's full casino shit. They did a promo video for it, which this is what we're looking at here. This token is the end game. It's the shit going to shit going. I mean, imagine telling your coworker you're quitting. Because Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, Ten, and you coin. Boom! Imagine the media reporting on Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, Ten, and you. <sighs> Ticker is Bitcoin, breaking one billion market cap. Now, unless you hate money, go ahead and visit hposni.com. So the Inu at the end is that like Shiba Inu? Yeah, Have yeah. They yeah. just it's hacked like that on the end. Hard. A parody of that, yeah. And what's the ten? Just because it's a big, big number. <laughs> what is like throwing a number? Whatever. Bigger than nine. Whoever invented it is funny, at least. But whoever, not only that, they've also made an absolute shit load of money as well, which is just as is everyone who bought this fucking thing when it like launched. It's just crazy. It's just nuts. Is there any technology behind it at all, or is it just uh, you could you could literally <laughs> deploy it? These are their <laughs> NFTs as well, so I'll share it to it. Point <laughs> seven three ETH. And who the fuck is buying it? People who find it funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I see the same thing in fucking comedy all the time as well. You see all these huge comedians and you're like, who the fuck is going to see this cunt? And then they're selling out stadiums and you're like, fucking, it's just unexplainable to me. But there's so many people out there. Do you know who I came across recently, which I've probably been living under a rock comedy wise and made me think that, you know, that Matt Rife guy. Yeah, 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 I was just like, he is apparently just exploded and sells out. Oh, he's yet. huge. And I watched some of his huge. stuff, and I was just like, "Who the fuck? Who is he? Is he, he the American?" He he exclusively plays to like females that are tens. <laughs> <laughs> Not no one under a ten. So he'll sell out a fucking stadium of tens. And I saw that Joe Rogan's just had him on as well. Yeah, he was just on recently yeah. as well. Which I never yeah. would have thought, like, I thought that would, they would be completely other ends of the spectrum and they would never even entertain having someone like that on. Um, but yeah, I assumed that was who you were talking about. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't seen, I've only seen the crowd work stuff he's done. Yeah. And I fucking hate crowd work. It's just fucking, <laughs> it's, it's just lowest common denominator now, I feel like. Everyone's just talking to the crowd. It's not even good. Like I fucking hate it. So yeah, yeah, that's it. I haven't I seen any of his material. Anything. I haven't. I was like half flicking through it the other day, and I I was just cringing. That's it. Yeah. Well, <sighs> the thing is, when when you blow up, well, I've seen it happen in Australia. Like comedians blow up because they put up a clip of an interaction with the crowd, and then their whole fucking career has to mm. be crowd interaction so they're not actually that good at comedy they're just good at the crowd interaction yeah and it's really fucked crowds as well because now crowds feel like they're part of the fucking show all the time so mm. yeah so what all they want what is heckling and shit going up for? not so much heckling but what happens is you'll go on stage you'll do a little bit of crowd work because it's part of the game. You do a little bit and then you'll go into your material or something and they'll just like fucking shut off completely. And then to get them fired back up, you'll go into crowd work and it's fucking annoying. It was, it was happening a lot in, it was happening a lot in Edinburgh when I was there. I went to see uh, Tom Segura recently and it felt exactly like that. Like the actual material just wasn't landing very well. And it was strange. It It was a weird atmosphere. It was strange. 
one of my ma- mates went and saw him as well, and he said the same thing because he loves his podcast. He's like, I fucking love his podcast. Yeah. But he's like, it wasn't. It wasn't quite the same. It no. wasn't. But, it, it just yeah. didn't didn't land that well. Um, and do you know Andrew Santino? Only from when you message uh, mentioned him last time, I think. Whis- whiskey ginger guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Who does the podcast with um, Bobby Lee? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Apparently, he was down in Australia and he was um, he was doing his show and like every ten minutes or something, he'd say Theo Von, and then everyone would cheer, oh. and that was pretty much it. <laughs> <that. laughs> we watched the Shane yeah. Shane Gillis new one. Have you seen it? I'll. Yeah, I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. Shane Gillis is good. Um, Joe List, he dropped a, another special. He's done three in three years, and they're all very high quality. Have you a uh, complete segue? Have you been following the friend tech stuff? The what? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hit me with it, boys. Yeah, go on. You can take the floor, Grant. So there's a new app in the whole crypto landscape called friend tech and you link it to your twitter and then people will effectively buy they were originally called shares but now they've been changed to to keys i can imagine for legal reasons so if you connected your twitter then immediately me and alex go and buy your keys and what that would effectively mean would then we'd be able to go and like chat directly with you so it's kind of like a crypto version of only fans where you can like buy have conversations with the specific person who signed in with Twitter, but like initially it was crypto Twitter personalities, and then a couple of big bands and gamers and streamers came on, like Disclosure and people like that were on there. And then like the OnlyFans girls like got onto it, but then they've nice. all just left because it was just like <laughs> lots of crypto, crypto guys asking to see the boobs. <laughs> so now it's More just crypto guys boobs. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's, that's the biggest okay. thing happening in the industry at the minute <laughs> the crypto guys know how to flush out the ladies pretty quick eh? oh some some guy <laughs> sent a tweet to uh one of them and it just he just tweeted us in <laughs> show <Sure> hall <laughs> <laughs> imagine the girl just going yeah all right fucking... yeah is that is that how it runs around why not <laughs> <laughs> show hole there's your new shit coin yeah yeah so whole. that's what we should do we should try and get some fucking shit going have you guys invented anything invented <laughs> no. Coins. no no god i think we'd be like flushed out of the space immediately if we did but we could just completely disclose we could launch the boil shit coin and everyone knows that that's exactly what we're up to nah, but then we need to do a real underground <laughs> I reckon, and see if we can... <laughs> would you be kicked out if you created a shit coin that has no value and just dumped it on everyone would you be kicked out of the community yeah i'd be ostracized i think that's probably a good thing as well to be honest <laughs> <laughs> the community sounds fucking dodgy <laughs> yeah well that's why oh, even when i'm meeting people face to face in singapore they won't dox into me i'm like i'm looking at you mate <laughs> <laughs> what was that oh. tweet from uh Twan grant you know, we were looking at the other day. Oh, fucking hell, I've got it here. Let me bring it up. So for context, for anyone who's listening on, on Spotify, there's there's this kind of like holistic girl. She looks like she lives in fucking Ubud in, in Bali and she's yeah. like breast breastfeeding. She's got like, like breast milk and then there's three like ripped yoga guys uh, <laughs> trying her breast milk. But then there's like a guy oh. we know from crypto Twitter who's re- retweeted it. Uh, <laughs> saying yeah i don't i don't i don't care the all new fully loaded ford f350 with high high output 6.7 liter power stroke v8 diesel with unique turbo upgraded exhaust manifolds unique tuning targeting with the best horsepower and torque in class could not pull my tongue out of their asshole if i'm being completely honest <laughs> 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 that is pretty fucking funny. Man, oh, God. Grandpa is anus, 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 anus. Graham, pull up his fucking profile picture as well, man. <laughs> that, was, that was a good lead up. 
<laughs> that's his profile. <laughs> yeah, so he's got he's wearing a pride flag with clown shoes and it says I can't breathe. The, oh god, I just got that reference, the I can't breathe reference. <laughs> is this the guy that didn't want to get doxxed? No, I don't know the, who this is. <laughs> he actually <laughs> looks like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, done it. he's done another one. I would pay Sarah Safari large sums of money to beat the absolute shit out of me. I'm t- talking within inches of my life, six months in a coma, brain hemorrhage, completely loss of memory just to beat me into a pile of 70, 30 ground brief, curb stomp in my face, barefoot, spit on my unconscious body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I would love to know That's his thing of, now. I would love to know what some of these guys look like, you know. Oh, it'd be about I can tell old. you it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Otherwise... <laughs> Otherwise, they would have their fucking head on the profile. Yeah. You seen his bio? PhD. I only farted. You ain't shit yet. <laughs> Meat. <Low pressure. laughs> DM for quotes. <laughs> oh, well, they've got to do something, don't they? Got to pass the time until the next ball cycle. Yeah. When is that coming? Does anyone know? Please uh... tell me if you do. And will crypto pump as well? It's all, it's all interconnected with Bitcoin, though, isn't it? Once Bitcoin yeah. pumps, will it all come it's with just, it? Or yeah, yeah, it's just new liquidity coming into the market. Effectively, now all you've got is guys robbing money off each other, the yeah, same money. The and there's no, there's no, there's no like <clears throat> new money coming in to take from the nerds, like on the new in the new fork coming in. So everyone's just kind of robbing money yeah. from each other. Um, so really the next wave is when the institutional money comes in. Yeah, you see prices spike from that, then your Uber driver comes in and then Yeah. Like, <laughs> cycle starts. <laughs> I thought this was quite funny. So there's someone who because with NFTs apparently like you own the IP under like on the of the underlying asset that it is. Uh, so someone's created like this board ape ape water and the twelve pack of canned water is Thirty-three dollars sixty-nine cents. <laughs> Someone's put it. Must be their tears inside. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's not very well thought out, is it? But um, it's been. What have it's they been gone for there? What's what's that company called? Liquid Death, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rip off Liquid Death. But who it's... was who was that? Um, who was that Australian crypto guy you told me about? Oh, Bitlord. Bitlord. Bit Lord, yeah. yes, I follow him. Oh, dear. And he's funny as fuck. He, he's, <laughs> he's a good laugh, that guy. He's yeah. definitely he's definitely an ex-meth head Aussie just bogan. Is he, like, rich, is he? Yeah, he's fucking balling. Yeah. He, he made, seems like he was, like, like very, very early. early. Well, yeah, if, he, if you, like, that, play it out, like, how would you... If he was a month dead later, dead he dead. would be dead in the gutter somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of Australian dude he is. He's, he's, he's your philosopher that fucking bought early and that just got lucky. Yeah. He's got 298,000 followers. He's fucking like. class. You know, you know, there's a funny story. You know, you mentioned Nassim Taleb earlier. I don't yep. know if we've mentioned this before, but... bit. Bitlord's actually got like a Bitcoin tattoo on his arm, if you can see that. And um, okay, Bitlord yeah. and Nassim Taleb were actually on a flight at the same time. <clears throat> and Nassim Taleb sent a picture of Bitlord's arm saying uh, like something like to the effect like Bitcoin is like not coming back or some shit. And then Bitlord had seen it on Twitter. And then apparently they'd have like this altercation on the plane. <laughs> 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 I wonder if I can find it. He was calling him like a fucking yeah. imbecile, wasn't he? He was like, I've just been sitting next to this fucking... Yeah, oh, here we go. How would he talk that photo as well? Scandinavian skin <laughs> <laughs> Scandinavian skin brain. So, yeah, he... he's a cunt anyway, Taleb. <laughs> his books are good. Have you read his books? I haven't. I've never actually read them. No, mm. no, no. Yeah, no, his books are actually pretty good. The ideas behind it are good, but he seems like some sort of fucking like con man type character. Yeah, I mean, feels like everyone is though these days, doesn't it? 
Oh, that's <laughs> every everyone everywhere. It's almost like you're forced into it. Yeah. You've got no other alternative. You have to be a fucking snake. But I don't know. Bitcoin seems a little bit different. Yeah, not yeah. not the community. The community seems fucking the same. But <laughs> that was Bit Bitlord's uh, reply to him. There wasn't it, Grunt. <laughs> yeah, I actually find you to be very kind, polite, and a pleasant gentleman. Up beside you, trying to grow up the arrows there, so she leaned across you. I'd say you <laughs> present yourself quite well for a crack <laughs> <box> scholar. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Yeah, fucking hell, man. Yeah, he is fucking he's, hilarious. He's like been that, fucking good entertainment. <laughs> he really, he really has. I, I'm glad that uh, we at least left you with some value last time, especially if we start doing these more frequently. I feel like yeah, we, let's get them happening. We, we need to properly indoctrinate you. It's been a bit of like a ghost town, hasn't it, Grant, in the last few weeks? For yeah, yeah it's been dead. It's just, Nothing's been happening. Flat as a fart. Yeah, yeah, to be honest. Uh, which you can kind of understand, but um, that's why you sort of take the comedy where you can, really, other than Harry Potter, Sonic, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a load of derivatives yeah. of it, effectively like Voldemort, fucking <laughs> RFK, Junior, 12, <laughs> Enu, and shit like that that came off the back of it. it was like, Are they getting any hate? Uh, there was a one, and like the ticker was Ethereum, which is quite funny, and I know like a load of, load of people who bought it, and I think they were hosting like a Miss Scroto Universe competition yesterday on Twitter Spaces. <laughs> so, are you guys making money out of these these things? Because you're pretty tapped into it, so you would get the the like early mail. You know what? It's one of those where you see it, you think it's really fucking mm. stupid, so you leave it, and then the next thing yeah. you look, it's the most obvious play of all time, and then you've just missed out on like life changing money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've just got a completely yeah, left curve. That happen. Oh, it happens every day. <laughs> and the ones, and the ones, <laughs> and the ones that you buy, and you're like, oh, it's only a few hundred dollars, and then before you know it, you've bought fucking twenty of them, and they're all going to absolute yeah. shit. Yeah. So you got to go against your instinct. Yeah. I mean, you total you, left curve. You try just like left curve yeah. it all the way. I've I've spent a lot of time like thinking about like what is the formula for a successful shitcoin like meme create meme meets like narrative meets community I, I don't even fucking know but then it's always when you look back at it like even when we were talking about Pepe last time that you think oh, I can completely see like why why that exploded because it's funny as yeah fuck, you know what I mean but then at the time there are so many of them that pop up that it's hard to like judge it's just pure luck really like Grant said complete really. casino yeah. Not really. Complete fucking casino. So, ha Funny how long does it take them to shoot up to like the peak? That one's been going for like that was the tenth of May, and it, it, it's all time high on the twenty first of August. But then Pepe was different though, wasn't it? Because Pepe was what like an overnight explosion. That was yeah. So when did you find out time. about Obama Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> when did <laughs> too um, late is the answer no i think we i'd seen it i just never like paid enough attention to it and then the next thing i look it's fucking hundred of million market cap which is just like people it's trying sick. to run yeah but there's no way you, <laughs> you can't, you can't be quick. down on yourself for missing out on that no i know it's fucking hilarious like the amount of fun that how can you rationalize that no, you can't it's you can't. Insane. That's insane. And th and that's why all the millionaires are made up of people who tweet girls with shit like show hall because they don't think about it. They just, <laughs> they just throw a coin at everything and then something sticks. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't know. I'm conscious I knew we had to wrap up by a quarter past. Of although I could just shoot the shit all day. Um, yeah. But sorry, what, what we to do. what we do want to do though to everyone listening is we are going to probably try and make this a monthly occurrence for Boyle. Um, and come yeah. on. Uh, prepared to just go through any bullshit that we see in the mad world that we're in, and the boil is I'll half in, half in, quarter in. I would <laughs> say that. I'm in, boys. I'm, I'm, I think by next year, with a fully indoctrinated journey, we'll be launching shit coins left, right, and centre. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> halfway there. That was actually yeah. legitimately funny. A couple of those things: <laughs> Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, Ten Inu. I'm fucking. You could have sold me on that, to be fair. I would have been yeah. like, I'm in. Put your life savings in this. That is I'm catchy. I'm Bitcoin, so. Bitcoin. That's right. <laughs> right. 
Awesome. Thank you. That asshole thing that's just classic comedy. (laughs) (laughs) Mate, it's so good catching up again. Uh, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, beautiful. Just let us know. Thanks for having me again. See see you boys soon.